Hi everyone, welcome to a short little video tutorial on how to do some cutting and pasting in Paint.net. One of the nice things we can do with Paint.net, we've talked about the use of layers, and the layers can be found down here. You can have different layers, and you can put different pictures in your layers, and I want to show us how we can do that and how we can actually put two, put a piece from two different pictures together in the same picture and try to make it look like they belong. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to do is open up a couple of pictures here that I have and they're going to be found in my G drive the same pictures that we've seen already so let me get to my G Mr. Bly 11 uh, Math BTT and Graphic Design uh, let me get my thumbnail view so I can see what they look like I want to take uh, well, let's take a picture of the white lion and let's take a picture of the white cat let me get my thumbnails again and the white cat what I'm going to try to do and I'm going to do it real quick and hopefully you're going to spend a little more time on it is I actually want to take the head of the lion and try to put it on the body of the cat um, so we're going to cut the head of this lion off using our lasso tool and the nice thing about this is you don't have to be very fine right now we can do some of the more editing in the cat version once we get it so let me grab my lasso tool here and I'm just going to kind of go around the head of this lion and go in real quick. Again, it doesn't matter how good I do this one. Now I want to cut it out and I'm going to cut by going to the edit menu, cut, and that will get rid of that part. So I remember I have both pictures open, so I'm going to go to the kitty cat picture. And now I want to go to the edit menu and I want to paste it into a new layer. This is an important part that I do it as a new layer. Okay, so there it is. Um, I can I can rotate my my layer by holding down my right mouse button and clicking on that highlighted part. I can also resize it by using these tools here. Now that's not looking great yet, but I think it will look better in a bit. Let's make this a bit bigger, and we'll see how it goes. So now that I've got this piece kind of rotated the way I want and maybe positioned where I want it almost. Uh, I just want to hide that for a second. See, yeah, it should be okay. I'm going to move this piece in a little bit. I might squish it and disorient it a bit, but we'll... Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Now here's a real important thing is being on the correct layer and kind of knowing what's happening here. That might not be bad. Okay, now I'm going to grab my eraser tool and I have to probably change my brush size to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it about, eh, let's go for 80. And I start to erase the pieces that I don't want. And again, I just go real quick around the spots that I definitely know I don't want. And you might be going to thinking, well, how do I get in really close? Well, here's where we can use our magnification. So I'm going to zoom in using the zoom tool. And I'm going to grab my eraser tool again. And now I can start to zoom more. Now it looks like I missed some of it. Or I missed going over some of the cap. But I'm still going to go fairly quick and start to erase things. I mean, another thing you can try is you can try that last of uh, the magic wand tool and see what it does and see if you can erase things. I'm just going real quick here so we can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. Important thing to do when you're taking two pieces out of or a piece of one picture and putting it into another one is we're thinking about shadows and making sure shadows go the same way. Uh, it's going to look kind of bad right here because I've got just too much going on there. But uh, let's see what I got here. The colors are kind of off, but you kind of get the idea of, of what we're trying to do. Um, you'd want to try to, perhaps, on the background layer, maybe darken it a bit, and you can use the adjustments for that, and try to figure out, hey, how do I, how do I change the brightness or the contrast? So maybe I want to do something so I can try to get similar shades. Now you can see the line is way too bright. There's all kinds of things you can do to try things out. What I'd like you to do 
today is try to find two pictures, and pictures of your choice, uh, within reason of course, but try to make it look like try to make it look like they actually belong. And you're gonna cut things out and paste things back onto it using that eraser tool. Remember it's important here in the bottom right to use our layers. When we're done, we can merge our layers down and it will just make one layer and then we can save it to your Z drive. So we're going to have some fun with that and trying out some other effects and some other adjustments.